a new world order. That's what we're telling you. Now you can wake up or you can stay asleep. All we do is get money and get real high. No stupid bro, still my brain cells never move slow, nigga. He felt from bad as hoes, okay? Throw a biscuit, I'm like Maya Angelou, I'm the lord of this fuck shit. Flooded, every day some other with the kid I came from, I love this shit. Hey, Cause of heaven and hell, I tell God, I tell Satan I'm all about money making On my job like a hundred Jamaicans Rolling with kingpins, who you gonna rob? I say the squad, the kill squad, fuck you thinking Is it? The goal to put gold on the streets where Linwood is, nigga All we do is get money and get real high we get high for right shit, man. That's that bullshit. It's my good clean green. <laughs> straight cuzzo, grew this straight organic. Ooh, good fire, too. Then you try something, chop or something. Or catch me in the top of something. <laughs> See me fish if you fish a hot dumpling. In the cufflinks. My nigga half a meal, nigga. Nigga ain't up on half a meal, nigga. He can't talk to me, man. Talk about no motherfucking rap, none of that, man. That's the source of war. Hey, you had no cord off. Fuck, man, I'm used to savage. I just can't talk to real shit, man. Yeah. This one, I'm a... I'm gonna call this practice with the treat. A lot of people be talking about shit, but damn, I'm gonna practice with the treat, man. Shit locked again. Niggas be locked again. The blocks again. It's down 10. With wild wild men. Out in the world, we got some Go pop, pop, pop. Go 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 pop, Survive. Yeah, half. My nigga half. I'm gonna listen to the Half a Meal album or oh, Sabbath. <laughs> I'm gonna switch it up, but I'm, I'm gonna bump that a lot of the Sabbath Half a Meal, man. What's up, family? We gotta practice what we preach. <laughs> I know I do. Everything I say, I do, man. For real, like, man. Everything I say that I do, I do. Or whatever little advice I give out. Because I ain't nobody, you know. I, I, I ain't the motherfucking nigga to be giving out no advice. I ain't the Wizard of Oz. But I just, my advice, my advice be just telling people how I live. I feel like it's good because you know I had changed the way I live. 
I changed the way I live, and my life been better. I always had a goal in life, you know, but I'm talking about I feel better health-wise and shit like that. A total health nut, I probably hate my life, you know. One of them niggas who eat um, two asparagus, he might eat some um, um, four or five peanuts and some cashews mixed with, with some walnuts for um, lunch. And then for dinner, he he might have a big um, bowl of um, oatmeal with raisins, and, and then he has some asparagus and some spinach on the side. <laughs> they niggas, I hate my life, you know. They be like, this nigga, he, you know, he, he bullshit. Ha <laughs> ha to them, but the way I used to eat and all the shit I used to do was fucked up. Like I used to, I used to eat all the shit, McDonald's. Uh, but I stopped that a long time ago, but I still ate that shit a point in time in my life in fast foods. I ain't no fast food since um, 2014. I ain't pulled up in the Wendy's and all that shit and did none of that since 2014. But before that, I used to be a wreck. You know, I was, a, you know, always, you know, was a, a, a mover even. No matter what size I was, I still always got around and, did everything and was fresh, always had some chicks, the best, the prettiest girls, believe it or not, always had them just all my life. So I wasn't lacking in none of that, but just the way I felt, man, you know, I, you know, it used to be some days like, man, uh, before I even did the Sabbath, I, I was cutting hair on, on Saturday. I was just living a, a Gentile way of life by the way they move on the calendar. <clears throat> and it'd be like on, on Sundays, I couldn't even get out the bed, man. Ankle be so fucking swollen and hurting, I couldn't even get out the bed. Feet be hurting and numb and shit. And um, I never, you know, I never had diabetes and nothing. I took no medicine or had but high blood pressure that was told by the doctor. I never used to go to the doctors like that. But I know I had all that shit because I was eating like a fool zombie. I was eating. I used to love M and M's and and I used to love um what other candy I used to love Snickers and all that shit. I used to eat candy. I used to eat all that shit. I never we was reading it. Um, like I wasn't reading the ingredients and shit in the back of shit. I didn't care what the names of that shit said. Sodium hydrotrose and uh, all that shit. Soy beans and all that shit. I didn't care about none of that. I didn't care about high fructose corn syrup and all that. I was eating it. Or oh, I used to love fucking Doritos <laughs> like a kid. I be eating Doritos and shit like that, man. Lame ass shit like that. But yeah, you know. One day, one day in 2014, I said, "Man, I'm not eating no more motherfucking, no um, no more kitty food or no candy and shit." I was like, "Though I'm grown, man. I'm not eating none of that shit no more." Um, reminded before that though, I been start eating pork. Pork, pork is, you know, you mentioned pork to niggas. Niggas are trying to pull up every little the head the hang you do just to eat that pork. That's how I know it's a spirit in it. Nigga tell you everything you doing bad just because they eat pork. They talk about everything, but they want not talk about that pig. You niggas, is, hey, that pig a bad motherfucker. I don't care what no nigga eating. If a nigga start eating pig, I congratulate him, dog. Nikki frog legs, all that shit. I would, you know, I'd be like, that's a wood shit. You, that's not in the cold to eat, you know what I mean? But, but he, I, still, though, I look at him more than the You know, I ain't gonna under eye nobody, though. You know, people live their own path, man. But, you know, so so called woke people, you need to still be eating pork, get mad when I say something about it, try to point out shit I do. I'm just telling niggas how I do. My life been, you know, better since I changed the way I eat. For real, man. Though I used to eat all that shit, Coney Island. <laughs> all that shit, long, long time. But I started eating that shit, oh, fuck, too. I'll, no matter what I'm saying, I've always been a choosy, a picky eater, man. 
picky. Like I eat the shit we eat, you know what I mean? But I was picky about who cook it. You know, all that shit, man. Who um how you wash your hands always been funny on washing my hands always been a clean guy. On washing my hands and all that hygiene shit, I never played like that. I never played funny with that. So I was a funny eater. So I been start eating at Coney Island restaurants because the bitches never wore gloves or nothing like that. But I still used to go to fast food joints here and there. I always been a home cook guy. So even when when I was eating pork, I was buying it. You know, still always tried to buy the cleanest of shit. Go to the best grocery stores to get my meat the best not even i don't even get meat from grocery stores i go to the best farmers markets and shit like that to get my meat when i was you know even when i was eating pork i didn't eat the fucked up <laughs> the the pig had to be kind of raised right or something like that <clears throat> but i stopped i stopped eating swine because in um 2011 and then oh another thing when i did eat swine I was never no chitlin and hog mug and pig feet, pig ear, pig knuckle eating ass nigga, man. <laughs> you know, I used to still eat that shit because I used to eat um, hog head cheese. My grandma sent it from down south. Fuck that shit up, nigga. It's some good ass hell. The, the, the flavor was good of it. And then all that shit in there, gel, they gelled together a hog head, nigga. I was a fool zombie. Ain't no fucking way my kids ever taste no shit like that. <laughs> but <clears throat> I never used to eat it, you know. I wasn't never no hog more chilling nigga, nigga. My grandma beat my ass when I was little because I said she stank because she was in there cooking chilling, nigga. <laughs> my parents didn't even let her with me for that shit. <laughs> they should have been like, man, this shit smell like shit. My mom and them, they was just waiting on their plate of that shit. <laughs> But yeah, I had stopped eating pork. It was 2011, and I had some pork chops sitting on my sink and shit at my apartment. I <clears throat> I had left out of something. I had them in the refrigerator. I had them in the refrigerator like like uh, a few days. They were seasoned up, and I never got around to cook them. I was working and moving too fast and shit. And I'm like, man, you know what? I'm about to cook these pork chops today for these bitches go bad. And I set them on the uh, on the sink, and I come back, you know, to the shit, man. I'm like, I ain't even gonna cook these bitches, dog. Fuck it. I threw them in the trash, like boom. And I just left the bowl sitting on the on the sink by the dishes. I came back and looked at that bowl. That bitch was full of parasites. I ain't never seen that shit. They wasn't even maggots. They was little and white. They was smaller than maggots. Fucking parasites, dog. Blew my fucking mind, man. I ain't straight. I ain't ate pork since that day. Not knowingly, because other shit had pork in it too, man. Like um, Jiffy Mix had pork in it. I was still eating Jiffy Mix. I was still eating candy, fucking gummy bears and shit like that. All at the two thousand eleven, all type. But I was like, I'm done with pork. And I still was getting that, that water mouth feeling when I was eating certain shit. I'm like, man, because I was still eating beef and all that shit. And um, I was eating shit, you know. Well, my, my mouth was still water up. I didn't know. But that's because I was still eating bullshit. So I had, um, but I did leave that pork around 2011 for sure. And then I lived my life, I still was eating bullshit and I still was hurting and well, I still was, my feet was hurting, and all, I cut hair, and it wasn't normal, like, I'd be, I cut hair, and I had to, I cut hair for, like, three days, and then I had to sit down for, like, damn near, like, three days, I'd be hurting and shit, moving still, all type of shit, dog, and then one day I was like, man, I'm not about to eat no motherfucking candy and shit no more, man, in 2014, I'm like, man, I'm not, I'm not drinking beer no more. None of that shit. I used to drink all them beers. I'm like, I'm not drinking all that beer and all that shit no more, man. I'm done with that shit. <clears throat> and I had I had stopped that shit. All them chips and Doritos and Cheetos and shit. And then shit just started feeling better, you know? Just off the blue. That's because I didn't know. And then I learned how to label read after I stopped eating that shit. I just ate it because I felt like the most high with me, man. He just put shit in me. Because I just felt like I wasn't no kid no more. 
<laughs> I like dogs. What the kids eat candy. I'm looking at my kids. They eat candy and shit. That's how I was looking at them. Man, I started eating that shit. A lot of shit. It made me start thinking because, okay, it was it was like September, 2014 when I said I'm not eating none of that shit no more, and I was chilling. You know, I wouldn't eat none of that shit, and then it pop up like um. It was it was holiday time started coming up like around this time of the year. It was Halloween. I remember I had bought my kids some candy and shit. Even though I wasn't eating it no more, I had bought candy. I had them their costumes and shit, <laughs> and it was just ticking on me then. Like, what is this shit about? And then I met I met well I already knew him since I was growing up. But this nigga named Roy, my man Roy. I had came up to him and he was doing some holistic shit. The nigga was making soap and shit like that. And I was do eating that candy and shit. So I was with anything clean. Like, you know, I was already looking for some shit like that. And my man Greenwood came like, hey man, the nigga Roy be selling um oh, soap, he making shit like that. It ain't got all them chem like chemicals and soap and all that shit. And I was with it. Man, I I, I spent like a hundred dollars with that nigga right there, man. Give me some of that shit. Give me the toothpaste. I don't even know how that nigga was making that toothpaste. Cause the way I make it now, that nigga wasn't doing it right. But it still wasn't that chemical shit. And I learned from that. Nigga put me up on moringa. I learned about the moringa and shit. So I started doing that too. Just off the blue. Like, damn. And and, and, and I look up at it was like Christmas time or something, and I had my fucking tree up. <laughs> 2014 Christmas Day, I had my tree up, and that's how I was decorating. And then I was just sitting there looking like, what is this shit about, man? Like, what the fuck is, why do we do this shit every year? Why do we, you know, why, what, what, what is Jesus? You know, like, what the fuck is all this about? So I look up, I got to looking up shit on my phone. On the blue, nobody was telling me none of this shit. I was just looking up like, what's the African Bible? Because, you know, I was still thinking we was from Africa and shit. I'm like, I'm not reading this um, Bible no more. Because I looked up um, Jesus like that. It wasn't no letter J in the phone. And I looked that up on my own. All because I stopped, I started eating a different way. I stopped eating that shit and it was mind blockers. And then I came across a little moringa. That shit helped you think too. It's like a, a natural herb. That, you know, I came across that shit. I'm like, damn. I'm like, dog. <laughs> and then I started doing it on my phone, researching. I didn't know shit about no fucking Hebrew Israelites. I didn't ever even heard of that shit. My cousin had said he was a Hebrew Israelite some years ago. I heard him say that. I'm like, yeah, you must be some black niggas. Yeah, you know. But I didn't know nothing about that shit. I just started looking up shit. Like, is Christmas fake? Is Jesus fake? Is it shit. <clears throat> And I, you know, I found out a lot of shit just from searching from my phone. And then after that day, I'm like, man, you know, you know, I'm like, man, it's some, you know, it's a different type of world out here for real, man. I stopped fucking with. Chris, I said that that day when I lived there, I say this is gonna be my last Christmas. I ain't never did that shit no more since then, dog. Since 2014, we had a good ass Christmas too. Anybody know me? I was a Christmas ass nigga, but I nigga, I spent my last dollar on that shit. Nigga, when I used to do that shit, kids had so much shit they open shit and get tired of it. <laughs> get tired of opening it and shit. Be sitting down there till nighttime. They forget like, oh, we open this now. I was a fucking zombie, you know. But I, I can't say I like to do shit. For, even now that I don't even do Christmas, I throw my own holidays and I still bad over bad shit <laughs> cuz I just like cuz I was little I used to love Christmas my parents buy me shit and treats so you know but I like to give to my people especially my children I got good children they deserve you know whatever but but I had quit all that Christmas and all that shit and said and I start you know